Okay, to transform Blastoff into his Space Shuttle Alt Mold, first, as always, remove the accessories. So here we can go ahead, untab his handgun, and then go ahead, straighten him all up. And if you're like me and you like the cartoon accuracy, then you will have his uh, Space Shuttle fin here attached to his back. So go ahead, untab that parts former and we'll attach that near the end. Now we're ready to go so go ahead lift his arms up like so and you could see where we're going the purple is supposed to all line up here and if you could see here this tab should go in there but you could see it doesn't because this is too high this is too low that's because this bicep swivel you need to rotate it 180 and rotate the forearm 180 and then bring them together and now you could see these will line up tab them in do the same on this side so we'll go ahead and rotate the bicep 180 and the forearm 180 and then bring it down to line up the tab tab it in and then you could see here the tab here you want to bring in his hand and bring out the tip of the space shuttle. So what you want to do is grab here, grab here, and then push down the hand. And on the inside, you could see the hand is on a ball hinge here. Bring it out. And on that pin, rotate the tip of the space shuttle out. And then fold in the hand. Lift this back up to close it. Tab it in. Now we got one arm all done. Do the same on this side. We'll do it on the inner side so you could see. So hold here, hold here to get a good grip. The hand push down and then bring out this hand. The pin rotate the tip of the space shuttle and then fold in the hand. Lift it up, tab it in. Now we got both arms all done. Go ahead and push his head back like so and now we want to bring down the front push back the back and bring down the sides to do that you want to lift up this top chest piece that's tabbed in here the hinges on this side so we'll go ahead lift that up and then you should be able to bring out the sides and bring down the front push back the back and now the front here there's a panel you want to bring out, bring it down all the way at an angle. And then there's another smaller panel here that you want to bring out as well. And on the back, you want to lift this up 90 degrees and so you could rotate this 180 and then lift this up where you could see these tabs go into the slots there tab it in. Once you do, you could lift this piece up, which is also on a slider. And then you want to bring out these two pieces, which is really hard because you don't really have much room to get your nail in there. So you're going to have to work really hard to get this out on both sides. Let's see if I can just kind of push on this thing here to bring this out. Once you do, you should get it like so. Push in that panel piece. And then we could bring these all back together. And let me just point this out. Um, there's a mushroom slot there. There's a mushroom slot there because there are tabs here you could see there's a tab there and there's a tab here so you want to make sure you get all these lined up like so bring up the front the back and if you got them all lined up it should be able to slide in pretty easily i forgot to mention go ahead and lift this back and uh if you got this all lined up you should be able to 
close this all up. It's a little finicky because you're trying to get four tabs to go in and it's a little hard on the camera but let's see if you don't go ahead and just do it one side at a time you got one there and then go ahead to the other side I guess that's the other way you could do it one at a time once you got them tabbed in then you could bring down this top piece tap it in here make sure you get it tabbed in and now we can close up the rest of it. So here, bring these arms together, not on the ball joint, but on that square joint here. Bring them together, and on the top, there's a ball joint. Find the tab, line it up, tab it in, give it a good squeeze. And then this bottom piece, you could see there's four mushroom pegs. It's a little hard to get in, but let me just tell you, um, push, push it up and down and use a lot of force and if you do it right it should be able to go in like so and then this top piece here you could see the slot tabs here and then two tabs go into those slots so line it up that's why you lift it up this piece here so find the tabs line them up tab it in and give it a good squeeze. Now we got the front part all done. Now this back piece, this back hip piece, drop it down so you can bring out the side panels on it and then go ahead and lift it back up on top. And let me just point out here, this is on a double hinge. So this is how you can uh, adjust this to come down like so. It's on a double hinge, so I just want to take note of that. But for now, let's lift that up like so. Now, down here, the feet. <laughs> the feet. So here, you can uh, hold the bottom and hold the top here and bring down his uh, foot. Rotate it 180 to form the thruster tolerance here is really tight so you're gonna have to use some force to get this to turn in like so do the same on this side hold the top hold the bottom bring this down and you want to get this mm, it's really tight rotate this till you get it like so once you do, use the ankle rocker to open this up to push out the smaller thrusters and then close it up. Same thing on this side, open up the ankle rocker, push out the small thruster, close it up. Okay, now here you want to open up this gray piece from up here on the top untab it you got those three tabs goes into those three slots there and you want to lift this up and there's a triangle piece you want to also lift up like so and there's a hinge here so you could see it rotates but you could see the mushroom slot mushroom tab so you're going to rotate it tab them in and then here, you want to go ahead and lift up this uh, wing by untabbing it, the tabs in here, and then you can close it, find the three tabs, line it up, tab it in, give it a good squeeze, and this tip here, you want to bend it at an angle. Do the same on this side. Ah, so from here, the knee, go ahead and open this up, and then lift this up lift up the triangle piece and then on this hinge rotate it like I said the mushroom tab and the mushroom slot line it up tab it in once you do use the uh, shuttle wing untab it right there and then you can close this up and bring down this tip which will close at the end 
Now we got that done. Now this top piece here, this uh, purple panel, you want to untab it, bring it out on both sides. You want to untab it. If I can see what I'm doing. Untab it. And then what you want to do is lift up this uh, top brown piece. But if you see, it's on a mushroom peg, so you can't easily lift that up. So what you need to do is you need to push in here on the bottom, push out here on the top, and if you do it really good, you should be able to pop it out. And then once you do, you could lift it up, bring out this panel. There's another panel that you want to bring out as well that's going to form the whole top part of the chest. Once you do, you could bring this down, line these tabs up, and same thing you want to make sure you get this top panel overlapping on top of the bottom piece here you want to push in push out and push down three motions all at the same time and it should go in like so ah, do the same on this side so here you want to push in push out just so you can untab these two mushroom tabs then lift it up bring out this panel which has another panel that you want to lift up that forms the top of the shuttle once you do you could bring it down same thing push in push out push down all at the same motion and it should go in nice and easy like so once you got all that done now the uh, space shuttle piece I mean the the tail fin you can go ahead and attach that if I can see what I'm doing. It's really hard doing these things on the camera. Make sure you put it in the right one, of course, brown and brown together. And then now we can go ahead and start tabbing all these in. So first find the tabs. You got one, two, two slots there. One, two slots down there. This didn't uh, go in all the way. So yeah, so you got four tabs you want to get in. So let's start with this top piece. Find the tab and the slots, line it up, tab it in. Same thing for the two bottom pieces. Once you do, give it a good squeeze back here, but here you want to be careful squeezing it in uh, because yeah, this thing gets really finicky. So now we got that. Now, okay, we can straighten out his leg like so. And now we can bring up this uh, purple panel piece. So first, there's a tab there that goes into the leg. And you could see the mushroom tab here, the mushroom tab there. It's different ways you could do it, so I'll show you both ways. So here... You just want to make sure you carefully get all this lined up, tabbed in. This this part's a really problem area. You have to be really gentle and delicate with it. Otherwise, you might push it in too much like I just did. This is kind of like the Magic Square Ironhide and Ratchet, trying to get the alt modes to be all nice and flush. But once you do, then you could tab in the bottom triangle piece into that slot. Now I'll do the same on this side, but like I said, there's uh, different ways that uh, you can do this. Um, so this one, I'll show you, you could lift this piece up and then now you tab in this piece to the leg and this piece up here like so. And then you want to carefully drop this down till it lines up maybe that way is easier because it was a little easier then just go ahead and tab in the, the wing the tip of the wing down here and this top piece like I said this is on a double hinge so you can uh, accordion this down like so and then you're gonna have to find these mushroom tabs from the front push them in and then back here 
push it, gently push it back. And if you got it all done right, it should be all nice and flush everywhere. But you still just want to check because there's a lot of parts here. Make sure the bottom's tabbed in. Make sure the wing's tabbed in here. Make sure this is tabbed in. Make sure this is all nice and flush. And now we have Blastoff in his alt mode. And here you can bring down the landing wheel. And now we have Blastoff in his space shuttle alt mode.